And I wanted to go back to Jack Lumber to talk about what I mentioned uh, at the very top, which was the talk. And I know that's extremely personal, but you brought it up and uh, initially, and I want you to talk about, if you would, uh, having that talk, you know, with your sons or maybe even your daughter. And what does that, what did that sound like when you had, when you had to do that? Well, I can say it was, it was probably one of the most, it was definitely more difficult than the whole sex talk. Um, the birds and the bees. Yes. Um, so, but I think what really brought it to, um, you know, the subject up was um, Trayvon's death and, um, you know, really speaking to them and talking to them about what has happened. But I've always been very open with them as far as historically what has happened. There are many things that were not taught to them in school. So therefore we would get together, my nephews and you know, my sons, mostly boys, you know, that um, that touched upon some of the things that happened historically. So it yeah. started to a little bit of it, it would build them and start planting the seed that there's certain things that they need to be aware of. And um, when they leave and they go out now, one of the things that um, happened with me, my son would come, came home, my oldest, and he came home and he said that, um, you know, he was riding up the escalator and another uh, uh, another woman, older white woman was riding down the escalator. And at the time he had the dreads, a little bit of the dreads and everything. And he said she grabbed her purse. Mm. And um, and we had to sit down and we had to talk about that. These are some of the things that are um, that have been um, part of her life. Maybe something has happened in her life that now she has that fear, but also yeah. son, this is the reality of what you may face every time you walk out the door, right. you know, whenever you are, even when you're pulled over, I've always taught them to be courteous, but also you have to understand that even if you feel like something is happening to you that is unfair or um, wrong, or you've been accused of something, something, that um, you are, you know, you're innocent of. Be calm. Bring yourself home. Come home alive. And we're going to fight this battle together. We're going to address it together. And um, you know, it, it's it's. And I have to say, you know, with something that um, that was said earlier, we have to we have to heal ourselves. No one else in this. No one else outside of our community is going to come in and say that they have the, the be all end all solution to what's happening in our community. We have to find that solution. We have to come up with ways to address it, but move forward with doing it. And that comes from, um, I believe Keith just said, uh, economics. You know, we have to reinvest in our community. We mm -hmm. have to reinvest in ourselves. So that reinvestment economically, but also we're reinvesting in our children by informing our children and making right. sure that they're aware on how to come home safe. And these are the things you may not see. Um, people are not going to always be nice when they see you because of the fact that you're a black male, they may consider you automatically as a danger or as a threat, but you cannot take that to the point where um, you know you you're acting out on it. We have to learn how to deal with that trauma because literally that's traumatizing. Yeah, that is actually traumatizing, and we need to face that not only as a black people but as a people, as a whole. That every time they walk out the door, they are traumatized even though they see our faces and we may be smiling. However, that may be a threat to some people. Okay. And that's the reality that that's the reality that we live with. <clears throat> every day. That's my sons every day. That's many of the women that I've spoken to whose sons have been killed, not necessarily by law enforcement or anyone, but that's, mm -hmm. that's the reality that we face every day as a people.